Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do geometric sequences. Before you start with this section, you need to be comfortable with arithmetic. There are two videos before this that covers arithmetic sequence. So before you start with this, it would be advisable that you are familiar with that work and you know that work. Okay, when we are talking of geometric, the main thing about geometric is that it works with a constant ratio. That means term 2 divided by term 1 is equal to term 3 divided by term 2. This is the test for geometric. <coughs> now, if you understand arithmetic sequences, you will see that the work that we do, the pattern or the way we do it is exactly the same. The only thing that is different is the test and the formula that you use. But the steps and the style works exactly the same. Let's take the following example. If you are given 7, 14, 28 and 56. Now before you start, you have to decide is it arithmetic or geometric. Now if you do, <coughs> mistake. Now if you do the test, 14 over 7, and then 28 over 14. Can you see I'm saying term 2 over term 1 and then I'm saying term 3 over term 2. That is the major difference compared to arithmetic. In arithmetic we had term 2 minus term 1 is equal to term 3 minus term 2. Our answer is 2. Now once you understand the test the question that they will ask you is, write down the formula of the following number pattern. Now the formula for geometric is Tn is equal to A times R to the power of N minus 1. Now the common mistake that pupils make is, they usually combine this a and r which exponentially is incorrect so you have to be familiar with exponents before you do this when you start doing silly mistakes like joining a and r then that means you have a problem with exponents and once you do that you start losing your marks if you are not familiar with exponents it's advisable that you go to our previous videos where we had done the summary of exponents. This exponents is covered in grade 11 and 10, not in grade 12. Now, once you write down the formula, the steps as you had done in arithmetic is Tn, N, A, but instead of D, we now have R. Now, when you want to get the formula, you only need A and R. So our A is always our first term, giving us 7. And R in this case is our common ratio, which is equal to 2. Then we go to our formula and we simply substitute. Okay, so we have Tn is equal to 7 times and then r is 2 to the power of n minus 1 and that is your formula you do not go on you don't go and say 7 times 2 is equal to 14 it is 7 times 2 full stop so when they ask you what is the formula you write it you put in A, you put in your R, and then you stop. Thank you for watching.